Hi, I'm Dr. Rafael Romano. Today I want to give you some tips on treatment of clear liners for crowding, proclination, constriction, all of it combined with extraction of premolar. Uh, this is usually um, tend to think that Invisalign is not suitable for such treatment when extraction is needed, but I'm going to show you if you uh, plan it properly and patient is following slowly all the protocol that uh, uh, you um, guide them, then we get a very, very nice result. You can see this patient, she has a constricted arch, proclination, crowding upper and lower, and uh, a very big overjet. Uh, she didn't want to have uh, braces. Uh, she has also midland deviation, and the midland deviation uh, is very tricky because it depends where you measure it. There is a big midline deviation according to the teeth, but not a very big mid midline deviation according to the nose and the chin. So uh, we need uh, to see where to uh, guide our treatment. Now, uh, as you can see, we have uh, decided to do here Invisalign treatment with upper uh, premolar extraction in order to close the overjet and get a proper aesthetic and occlusion. You can see from the cephalometric analysis that the upper incisors were very protruded and therefore and the, the maxilla and the mandible were quite small. So we have decided just to move the upper incisors backwards and get them aligned with the maxilla and the mandible. You can see here a comparison of the CEF and the profile. And uh, here is uh, the plan we have um, done with a clean check with Invisalign. And you can see that uh, we have decided to uh, do everything very, very slow. I've divided the movement for almost 18 months in order to uh, have a very slow and gentle and smooth movement and get a very good cooperation from the patient. Uh, you can uh, have a look uh, in the uh, clean check very carefully, which I will not do now, and see that we have moved not all the teeth together, but slowly the first premolar, then the cuspids, and then the three to three. In this case, we have extracted the fives in order to keep aesthetic since it is an adult patient. And you can see that the arches, even that we've done extractions, were expanded a little bit in order to create a very nice and broad smile. You can see that spaces were closed very uh, nice. You see the gingiva. Uh, you see here the patient with the aligners. And after almost a year and a half, and, and uh, uh, also with another two months of refinement. And you see that cooperation is 100% and therefore the arches are uh, really um, precise and kept very nice. You see the before, you see the after. Uh, everything is uh, very healthy. You can see the gingival line that were aligned. You see before she had a very uneven gingival margins and now the gingival line is quite aesthetic and nice. Uh, you can see that uh, the overjet was closed almost completely and uh, you see here a five years follow-up. You see the gingiva in very good health. You see the profile. You see the angle of the upper incisors and the uh, uh, whole outcome of this treatment in the patient face. Uh, this is five years follow-up. Still, we have a problem with the lower midline, which we have decided not to correct. We didn't extract teeth in the lower uh, arch. Beside the molar that had to be extracted for prostodontic reasons, not for orthodontic reason, and over there will be an implant. Uh, you see the two arches, very, very aligned, very nice, and the panoramic x-ray at the end of treatment. 
I want to thank you very much. I hope this tip helped you in doing your future cases with clear liners. Thank you.